What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends House of X Powers of 10 Tri-Sentinel or Theta Sentinel Build-A-Figure. If you get your Marvel Legends, you can do so it- Such your feelings, you know it be true. Dark Side Toys is a store for you! Link below. All right, down there I ask you to show your support to this channel by hitting that like button, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And what do you guys think of my Befart over here, huh? Not too bad. If you have any Befart you want to share on social media, make sure you hashtag Befart. Anyway, uh, the heads over here came with the Magneto figure, the torso came with Omega Sentinel, uh, the right leg came with Marvel Girl, the left leg came with Moira McTaggart, and then the right arm came with Professor X, and then the left arm came with Cyclops, and Luckily, Wolverine did not come with any Build-A-Figure pieces, which is great because there's so many Wolverine figures out there that they didn't make us buy another Wolverine figure to complete this Build-A-Figure. Anyway, let's get to it and get this thing built. I recommend heating these up. It was a little tricky, uh, especially with the heads. So depending on the weather conditions of where you're at, uh, yeah, you may need to heat this up. All right, let's get this thing built. Will you take away Bumblebee? Oh, man, I'm knocking stuff over already. Anyway, uh, there you go. Okay, so I have this all upside down right over here and then uh, let's go ahead and start with the legs make sure that we get the legs on the correct side and then where's that other leg get this right over here on this side and ports on very easily the legs are the easiest part I would say and then the arms are maybe just a little trickier uh, and that ports in just okay right now. I've already heated this up and put this together already. So yeah, there's a head. So it was really just the first time these all just poured in. Okay. All right. So oh, wait, there's that last one. All right. There we go. Now we have <laughs> the Theta Sentinel all built and not looking too bad at all. There are some things here that I really do like. There's some other things that I do not like. But first, let's take a closer look at the head sculpts as we do not get any accessories for this figure. <laughs> For the life of me, I cannot figure out why Hasbro chose to name this the Tri-Sentinel when it's not the Tri-Sentinel, it is the Theta Sentinel, and I'm familiar from it uh, being in Powers of X number one. Just for a brief time, uh, just a quick bio, it's from Earth TRN 756, and I guess it was in the year 100 in the Northern Territory Nexus, whatever the hell that is, Hickman. Uh, but yeah, it's very short-lived. I believe it had the ability to like suck the memories and energy from mutants, I guess, and then it has the stretchy neck abilities and stuff like that. And it's quickly destroyed by Rasputin 4. So not a whole lot going on character wise, unless, you know, there's other books that it's, you know, that, that it has a prominent role in it and everything. But man, these head sculpts look dope. And I do like the design of it. I do think this looks very cool. I like how you get these thin slits right over here along the mouth. And then the eyes look really nice with that pink paint right there. The heads look really good. I don't have much swirling in these two, but this one right here has a whole lot of marbling going on. So what the hell? I can't figure out. It's just, it's a crapshoot. We have no idea what we're going to get. I do love all this detail sculpted in here and everything. That looks fantastic. Remember that image I just showed a minute ago? You could see the pink detail that they're missing right over here. But that sculpt looks really good. And I like how the neck or the vertebrae for the neck right here looks and everything. So that's pretty dope. Uh, I wish they went full on ball joint right here. So that would help with articulation. So that frustrates me a little bit. I'll get into that more in a little bit. But yeah, you can see more of that detail right in here. Uh, the arms look really good except for some of the marbling that you can clearly see right over there The back has a little bit of that going on too, but not as bad and I love how reflective You know everything is you know as you can see that rosy pink paint right over here So I like how that changes up love the gunmetal gray throughout on this figure again I, I like this design. I think it actually looks really cool. Ah, I like robots. What am I gonna say? I love my robots uh, The ball joints or you know some of these joints, you know They kind of stand out a little bit and it's a very metallic look as it should so that's that's very cool. And then again, I like how you have the gunmetal gray right here with silver on top of it. That looks really good. The legs look great. I like how these came out. So that's very neat. 
I like that a lot. Very thin joints over here. Nice ratchets. I feel like this is Hasbro's just, you know, want an excuse to make a cool looking figure because <laughs> it looks cooler than anything. I just really don't remember it being around much at all in the books, you know, very short lived character, right? Unless I'm mistaken, let me know. So I mostly like the articulation on this figure. You get ball joints attaching at the neck as well as the head. I just wish you could do more with these and yeah, they will pop off on you. So that could be a little bit frustrating. So you could turn them all the way around. You can move them forward and back only just a little bit and the head will move up and down uh, you can turn them side to side of course but like if you wanted to turn them all the way around or do something you know fancy and you know in the books like the necks do like extend and everything like that so having interchangeable neck parts would have been pretty neat to have but yeah you know there's room for some play over here just not as much as I'd like you can see how easy they pop off over here so that's a little frustrating uh, shoulders will move out ah oh, dang it without them popping off over here you can move the shoulders outward that much they will move in all the way forward which is great uh, you could rotate forward rotate back uh, no bicep swivel up there but you do get a single jointed elbow that does bend in a little bit more than 90 degrees you also get rotation at the elbow wrist turn side to side they both hinge up and down you get a diaphragm joint you get a little bit of diaphragm wiggle it'll crunch forward quite a bit and back a bit right there uh, the legs will move outward that far and kick forward and I guess move all the way around uh, you get a upper thigh cut and then great double jointed knees and then the ankles move down they move up and he has beautiful ankle pivot you know one thing I also wanted to mention about this figure with how skinny the legs are and how top heavy it is it actually stands really well so anyway measuring out this theta sentinel figure you can see that it is standing just a little underneath the eight and a half inch mark I really don't have a whole lot of figures to compare this theta sentinel to but here's one of the recently released Marvel Legends days of future past sentinel figures and yeah you can see a huge size difference over there cannot wait for the Haslab Sentinel and then for another appropriate size comparison we have the Theta Sentinel next to Nimrod right here I'm not sure if the Theta Sentinel is supposed to be this much taller than Nimrod I don't remember seeing the two of them in the same panel or on the same page so yeah you let me know if you've seen that and then for a build-a-figure comparison we have the Theta Sentinel next to the SPDR build-a-figure and at first I was suspicious about the parts being here reused from this figure but nope all brand new and here's the theta sentinel next to all of the other figures from the wave and i gotta say for the most part this is a pretty lackluster wave uh, definitely not my favorite wave from marvel legends in recent history for sure a lot of things i don't like over here but anyway uh coming up with this list was very hard i kind of hate my own list and i know that sounds weird so let's get to the list anyway at the bottom i am giving it to professor x uh, even though he does come with that other interchangeable head for the previous figure uh, you know it's just just not a whole lot going on with that pizza spider-man mold uh second from the bottom i'm giving it to cyclops yeah bucky cap mold again so you know and cyclops figure again and then third from the bottom i'm giving it to wolverine i like this wolverine figure a lot i really do but still uh there are other brown suit wolverine figures that i like more than that one uh at uh fourth from the bottom i'm giving it to magneto uh, out of all the repaints that's my favorite one or actually it's not my favorite one but i really like that one a lot and then i'm giving it to omega sentinel i'm not happy about the other head sculpt but i really do like the other accessories and i love how this body mold looks for the most part i have my frustrations but i mostly think that's a pretty cool figure and then at the number three spot but I'm giving it to Marvel Girl. Yeah, I hate my list, man. Uh, that figure frustrates the hell out of me so damn much, but I've been wanting a classic Marvel Girl with this design right over here for so long. Been waiting for a new version of it, and they finally delivered a figure that is quite disappointing i wish i could like that figure a whole lot more but ah, i'm super frustrated with it but at the number two spot i'm giving it to moira mctaggart i love this moira figure right here i love the interchangeable parts i love the head sculpts i mean i do have a gripe you know with the smirk and stuff you know but for the most part i think that is an awesome figure figure even though it's mostly a repaint and then at the number one spot i'm giving it to the theta sentinel over here what can i say i just like my robots and i think it looks really cool i like the articulation for the most part so yeah a lot of good stuff going on over there just overall fairly disappointing wave and then here's the tri-sentinel next to your average six inch scale figure we have the marvel legends big time badass spider-man so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please show some love to the channel by hitting that like button and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell if you're new here and if you feel like it's worth it go ahead and support this channel via the tron or membership links are in the description below or you could click that join button and thank you so much to all the contributors over here on the left side of the screen and this figure is okay i like it you know i, I gotta say i do like the figure 
figure. However, again, it's just a very obscure uh, short run character from my point of view. I just wish that there was more going on with the character in the books. I'm just not a fan of Hickman's writing. And it's like he shows the character and the character gets annihilated like right away. And I don't remember seeing the character do doing much before it got killed so it's like ah oh, what the hell yeah i didn't even get to see it really do anything and then now it's dead like yeah so that's just really frustrating but as far as the figure goes i think it's really cool and at the price i guess of a build a figure i'm gonna give this theta sentinel a sud rating of i love it and i'd like to know what you guys think so please let me know in the comment section below if you want to see the latest marvel news you can find it all over at marvelousnews.com i have a live stream going up later today so i hope you guys join me over there with robo and if you want to stay in touch with me on social media you can find me on instagram twitter and twitch and i will catch you guys later peace Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.